With just a week into the new offices, it appears it would be a bumpy road ahead for the newly cabinet secretaries in charge of health and education dockets as both doctors and Don's union threaten to down tools in two weeks time. After Telo, the union will give an irrevocable, mark the word, the union will give an irrevocable seven-day strike notice beginning 13th February 2018. Appeared to have been angered by what they termed as non-committal by both the government and the Inter-Public University Council's consultative forum to resolve the impasse. Was the Secretary General Constantine Wasonga says government had no intention to have the impasse resolved, having entered the negotiation process with crippled acting vice chancellors in nearly more than eight universities. There are some teething problems affecting the public universities, including their operations. These ones include a number of universities that have acting vice chancellors. In some of the public universities, the vice chancellors have been acting in excess of one year. This has largely affected the authoritative operations of the universities. So a number of the universities are operating under capacity. And that has created a lot of problems, especially where universities have to engage other stakeholders in tackling common problems affecting the universities. While issuing an ultimatum of 12 days for the ministry to give a counter-offer, Wasonga further recommended that the ministry appoints vice-chancellors in Kirinyaga, Embu, Taitatameta, to Moi, Garissa, Kenyatta Universities and Constituent University Council if the negotiation process is to make any headway. The paradox is that in some universities where we have acting VCs, we don't have councils. And therefore, the business and the sole mandate of the universities cannot be adequately executed. On the other hand, the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Union has given the government 40 days to implement the negotiated collective bargaining agreement fully, or it will instruct its members who lecture at universities and other medical schools to go on strike beginning February 15. The Union Secretary General, Dr. Oluga Oma, accused the government of playing insincerity in implementing the CBA. Linus Moshigadi for Channel 1 News.